Well, to some sad news tonight, the coronavirus has claimed the life of another state leader and well-known Detroiter. Morris Hood III lost his battle with COVID-19 on Monday, and now his friends and colleagues are sharing their memories of him. Heather Catalo joins us now with their story. Heather. Alan, as one state lawmaker told me today, she said it's like we're in a perpetual state of grieving and Morris Hood's friends just can't believe he's gone. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. In a capital often divided, former state Senator Morris Hood III loved to bring people together. He embodied and had a grand respect for history and was always available to give of himself and to serve people. State Representative Sherry Gay Danyogo and her colleagues across Detroit and Lansing cannot believe the 54-year-old is gone. State officials say Hood passed away Monday after a month-long battle with the coronavirus. We felt like he was coming around, he was doing better. Um, it was just a battle. I mean, he fought hard. Prominent Democrats from the governor to the state senator who took over his seat after he was term limited in 2018 are all mourning his loss. He came from a legacy of um, public servants. Uh, his uncle served here in the legislature and also his father. Education was his top priority here in the legislature. State Senator Sylvia Santana says Hood had a kidney transplant a while ago, but never let that slow down his desire to serve Detroiters or his family. Morris always believed in making sure that you put your family first and making sure that you spent time with your family because life is short. Morris Hood had most recently served as Director of Government Affairs for Wayne County. I, I can't say that I ever heard anyone say anything bad about Morris Hood. He was, uh, he was dependable. He, he could be light and cheerful, and he was also very serious-minded, and he was uh, just always a dedicated public servant. Morris Hood's colleagues say this is just another reminder that this virus does not discriminate and they urge everyone to stay home and stay safe. I'm Heather Catalo, live. All right, Heather, thank you.